We are very pleased to begin our program with two gentlemen from our parent company, Kojiko. We have Matt Wickham. He is the vice president and general manager. And we have Fred Perron, who is the president of Kojiko. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. Hello. Thanks for having us, Mike. Good to see you. Good to see you. And Fred, I'll begin with you. 65 years. This is the anniversary. 65 years of this corporation. That's incredible. It is. We're very proud of it. And what we're especially proud of is over those 65 years, there's one thing that hasn't changed, which is our commitment to local communities. We are not one of those big companies that repatriates its operations to Toronto. We stay here, rooted in the community. Our service is done here in Ontario, our customer service is, and we uh, essentially work where we live and where our customers live. And Matt, we know here at this studio how local we are because that's our mandate, to bring local stories to our local residents. Nobody else can do that. But it's more than that as well. It is making sure that everybody in Niagara, for instance, has the opportunity to be connected. That's absolutely right, Mike. I mean, there's two points I want to touch on that. First of all, your TV is so important to every community right across the uh, province that we operate in. And we hear it all the time, how important your TV is to, to bring the local stories. But it's also, Kojiko is all about investing in those communities that probably been underserved or completely unserved for uh, all time. And so we are making a tremendous number of investments right across the province. We have 40 different projects underway right now to connect over 50,000 homes. And, and locally, right in this area, we have projects in West Lincoln and in Grimsby that we're working on right now. A lot of those areas are traditionally rural areas where it's been difficult to get cable to them in the past. That's right. We talk about the digital divide often, and we're trying to close the digital divide. Yeah, it's really COVID, actually, both on the local TV uh, as well as connecting uh, rural areas. It's really as part of COVID that we've realized the importance of it. So during COVID, for example, many customers were telling us that the only way they could get local news was from your TV. Right. And similarly, more and more people worked from home or the cottage in rural areas, and that's when we, we really elevated the importance of connecting those homes. But we heard from it here, uh, Matt in a way that, you know, especially during school when a family might have four or five kids all accessing the internet at the same time and they just couldn't do it. That, that's just it. And, and it really drove home the point that we had to invest in these communities that typically didn't have, they, maybe they had uh, a wireless service that they could get only a very, very small amount of bandwidth from. So by investing in those communities, now all of a sudden they have an equal, ac or equal access to bandwidth that big cities would have. Fred, we had some Kojiko employees just a week or two ago planting trees locally. That's evidence of Kojiko's commitment to the environment as well. It was. We, we actually partnered uh, with three institutions here in the Niagara region. Uh, we did plant some trees not only here, but actually in, in the two provinces of Quebec and Ontario, as well as in several states. So it's actually uh, in 22 communities that 800 volunteers were planting trees uh, on Saturday two weeks ago. What are some of the other ways that you've shown commitment to the environment? We're actually recognized as one of the very few corporate knights in the world. Uh, we're part of a very select group of companies that are recognized for their sustainability, and we're very proud of that. Matt, what other kinds of things did COVID bring to light for Kojiko? Yeah, it's really interesting. So we've always been committed at Kojiko to having our employees within the communities that we work and, and uh, serve in but even more so during COVID because we all started working virtually and it opened our eyes to the point where, you know, maybe we're a little over focused in hiring in Burlington where our head office is in Ontario. And we realized we can hire in Windsor, we can hire here in Niagara. And we now we have people that really understand the community and understand the particularities of that community so they can, they can really bring great local service. Why is that so important, Fred? Well, actually we got great feedback from customers who actually call us and all of a sudden they, they, they hear a member of their community or somebody at least in Ontario pick up their call and, and customers are, are often very pleased by that situation and they feel understood. They feel like they, they are talking to someone who understands the issues in their communities as well as uh, what needs to be done to help that customer. Over 65 yeah. years, Matt, Coachco has had to adapt to a changing marketplace, to changing technology. 
How is it that the company has been able to stay on top of all of those changes? I think it's twofold. One is we're, we're very committed. It's part of our DNA that we're rooted in those communities. But I think it's part of, partly because we come from a family company, you know, a, a company, a small company started in 1957 in Trois-Rivières, Quebec. And uh, we always stayed true to those roots that we are, we're sincere when we talk about being rooted in our communities. One of the lines we often use, Mike, is uh, world-class technology locally served. So, so that, that being rooted in a community has been our, our anchor, but at the same time, we've always kept up with technology changes. And as you might imagine, there have been a number of them over the course of 65 years, and there will be many more to come. And we don't know what's next, do we? We have some ideas on what's next, and, and then over time we will figure out what's next after next. Matt, Fred, appreciate you taking some time out to visit us today. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for having us.